Hi, welcome to Google Classroom 101. So in this video, I'm going to show you what to do when you plan to join Google Classroom and you're going to enter all the paperwork for the team. Um, my suggestion is that you make a Gmail with um, your local name. For instance, maybe I would put uh, Miss Plum at Gmail and I would have everyone either I use that um, email address or my team does and I'd make a password and then every year I would change the password but it's totally up to you how you do it um, if you want step-by-step -step directions and need more help really just reach out to me we can meet via zoom or we can meet at the office or at Dunkin Donuts I don't care I can help you out any way you want but if you are joining this one, you're going to use this link to join Google Classroom. Remember, one email per local. So, and that would bring you to this classroom. And actually, when you join, you're going to see this. And I do have a, a welcome video. I show you around Google Classroom. Um, but this is the main page you want to stick with, the classwork. And if you notice, I have um, topics and due dates. And if you want to jump to a topic, you can use this. But right now, please understand that I have everything in the order that you need to complete it. There are some with due dates. And at the top, it was hard to do a due date because I want the, these done in the first 24 hours. And this one, this group done within the first week. So right now, right here in the top, after you get crowned or your girl gets crowned and you're entering all the information. Um, I talk about the incentive for the lottery. I want you to recruit um, and sell ad pages. You can watch this video to, about this area here. I have a welcome and a checklist. And then this is what needs to be turned in. So when you are looking at all these assignments, some of them are information. If you see the clipboard with no lines, that's just information. This is what I want you to actually submit and turn it. It's just an acknowledgement of um, the mandatory dates, 14. The information that I need after being crowned for a week, um, again, I have video directions and only the ones with the lines will need to be turned in. I have a judge's charge here. Uh, again, if you open this up and read it, you will understand exactly what I say to the judges or Jill says to the judges and what we're looking for. If we make any changes, it automatically changes because it's a Google Doc. So you will always be updated when you're reading it. So these will tell you the local contract needs to be put here information that I need. This is a, a Google form. It will have the girl's name, email, um, her parents' email, date of birth, etc. So that might be something that you need to do together. As we move down, wardrobe, I have a video directions and it's, see the due date? November 11th at noon. So fill that out, have it in on time. Talent registration, again, I have a video with instructions, your talent registration form, a photo of your talent outfit. If you don't have a photo, maybe you have, you can take a photo from the magazine or whatever you plan to wear. Talent release form, directions are here, the recorded music, your lyrics. Our talent production form. Fitness, fitness, um, you are going to wear your rebel outfit that you wore at your local. We're going we're not going to require anything new so you are going to wear the same outfit so just pack it away and keep it till february your fact sheet i have a template here for you but if you already have it done you can just upload your document community service i put a blank document in there but again if you already have it done just upload your document tea party information it's all right here. We have some information for your Miss Candidate. She'll also get a little envelope with this letter. And it's basically saying that we'd love you to be there, and but it's not mandatory. Orientation. These will all be due at orientation. 
called Homeless Food Allergies and the Black Box. Black Box will be immediate family only. Um, however, your directors and your miscontestant are also invited. We need to get a lot done. You'll meet the judges, you'll meet your alumni. We're going to have photos taken with Katrina so she can put together your first autograph card. And we want to get it done as quickly as possible so whoever wins can go out and celebrate with their family. We need your headshots by December 9th. Please don't ask for an extension. Um, everybody will be in photogenic. We're going to do just like the Miss contestants did this year. We're going to try that. Um, the program book, this is all the information that we need for the program book, and it's all due December 9th. So if you noticed, everything has been laid out in order of what we needed. Quarter Century Club and tickets, there'll be more information coming. Please read this over. We've made some significant changes and changes to price. So I'm hoping that you are all happy about this. Um, I'm, I am. I think it's a great idea. The production fee has changed. So we are, we in prior years have collected $200 and we used it a lot to buy the wardrobe. Well, this year, um, most of the wardrobe will be purchased by the teen herself. Um, we'll give you the requirements, kind of like what Miss did. There will be some items that we will be purchasing, but not as much. So we are hoping that with the $100 entry fee, that most of the directors who paid the $200 entry fee will now um, take that, pay the $100 fee, and then give this, the teen a local scholarship of $100. We are hoping that every teen has a local scholarship. And then we have a couple of awards that are optional. The Scholastic Award, and then we, last but not least, on January 13th, we are looking for a photo of your gown. So hopefully that explained a little bit, and I have individual videos, and you can always call or email myself or Jill, we will help you out with anything that we can.